I just finished playing another horror game just before this video and my heart is already beating pretty fast so I don't know if I can handle this one but why am I seeing is that case over in the background okay we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna start but just another regular shift for me you know checking checking guests in finding their rooms and making sure they were settled Nothing of the ordinary except was in the best mood that night I had a fight with my girlfriend before heading she was upset saying i work too much never have time for us honestly it just felt like another argument i figured once the night ended uh i'd smooth things over as usual the guests arrived and i did my job greet them pull up their reservation and guide them to the rooms simple right but that night there was something different in the air maybe it was just me but greet them pull up their reservation and guide them to the ro their rooms maybe it was just me but i couldn't shake the feeling that something wasn't quite right and it turns out i was i wasn't wrong why did i have to repeat that twice all right let's see what this is about oh shit okay automatic doors god basketball how do i throw it oh there we go Hey, okay, let me try to get one in Why is this harder than it looks? Hold up. Okay. This angle? Oh, hey, we got one in. Nice. Alright, now that's done. How do I get into my station? What is this? What? I saw that. I saw. I thought this was eye cologne. I was like, what do you mean eye cologne? Why would you have eye cologne? But it's not eye cologne. Oh god. When did you come in? Good good evening. The name's Victor. I've booked for I booked the room for the night. Alright. Of course, Mr. Victor. Follow me, I'll show you to your room. Thanks. Been traveling all day. I hope this room's comfortable. You booked it. You probably saw the images online, so if it's not comfortable, don't blame me. Why are you following me into the staff room? This is a staff room, right? You are weird. I think I swear to god that guy's neck just did a 180. And I do not know what room you're meant to be in, Victor. So I'm gonna assume this room right here, number two. Nope. Number three. Nope. Alright, you know what? I think I probably have to check my computer. Probably should have done that. I don't know what's why is it so dark? Okay, there we go. Now, do we check the computer? No rooms found. That's your name, right? Hold up. What's your name? Oh my god. Why are you... Your neck is not okay, Victor. <laughs> Go get... I can take all of it? Oh no, I can't. Okay. That's not your name? Does it have to be a capital? There we go. Oh, God. Why is this your pose? Okay, you're in room number six. Uh, number six. There's one there. I don't know what it is. Okay, follow me, Victor. Even though your neck is doing some... Doing some funny business. But we're gonna go to room six, I suppose. Unless you're gonna stab me in the back. Which, I guess it's okay. Probably not okay, but... You know what? I don't really care at this very moment. All right, Victor, here's your room with the green screen. Want me to come in here with you? Why do you want me to come in here with you? Oh, there we go. Here we are, Mr. Victor. If you need anything or have any complaints, feel free to call the front desk. Or don't. Please don't. Thanks. I'll let you know if anything... If I need anything, appreciate it. Okay. Can your neck stop doing 360s? I don't appreciate it. I... I mean, it's good that you got that flexibility in your neck, but it's kind of creepy when you do it in the middle of the night. When I'm trying to walk around you, especially. It's never good for me. Anyway, back to my job, I suppose. Even though my keys are a little... little, little, uh... Everywhere, I guess. I can take those, but why can I... Is this... Am I going to have to restart the game because my keys are gone? No way, right? Oh, dude, I think I have to. Oh, I got it. 
Right, so we got keys on the ground. Should be fine. I'm not seeing any customers. I'm gonna go inspect the... Damn, we got everything here. Oh, shit. I think we have too much here. Why do I have a knife here? I'm gonna come in here and my knife is gonna disappear. And I'm gonna get stabbed by Victor or something that's doing 360s with his neck. Hello? I have a reservation under Evelyn. I think I'm saying that right. Certainly, Evelyn. I'll take you to your room. Follow me, please. Thanks. It's a bit late, isn't it? This place feels so quiet. Yeah, it is. So what are you doing here? Suspicious stuff? Hmm? Okay, you're in room one. Your neck is also very flexible. Good for you guys. Why do you walk towards me like that? Stop smiling at me like that. I don't like it. In the morning, we can do this. But when it's nighttime, don't do that. And you are... Okay, you know what? Sure. You know what, Evelyn? Here, get in your room. I'll get in your room. Here's your room, Evelyn. If you need anything or have any issues, just call the front desk. Again, please don't call the front desk. Probably gonna die at that point by somebody. Thank you. I'll keep that in mind. The, the room seems nice. Yes, it seems nice. Are your hands okay? They're they're awfully sharp. They are very sharp and stretched out. Oh, and your neck is also doing 360s. All right, Evelyn. Good night. Bye. I'm good. I'm good. I don't... Uh... You, you do your 360s in your room by yourself. Or that sounded... I don't know. That didn't sound right. Oh, we got some TV here. Oh, and we got some snacks. Is that employee of the month? Or is that a banned person? Now, why do I need this? What is a what is a common name? I feel like Waltz is a common name. My name is Scarlet. I have a reservation. Right? I don't know, Scarlet. Do you? Let me check. I'm guessing you don't. Is that why you're saying you have reservation? Did you forget to reservate? We don't take bookings right now. What am I missing? Can't even see it's so white. Is that R or a D? No reservation found, Scarlet? I don't, I don't think you were meant to be in here. Let me show you to your room. Wait, what? Great, lead the way. This place is kind of creepy, don't you think? I don't think so. Do you think so? What am I missing? Hold up. I gotta rewrite it. Scar... It. There we go. I don't know why I was working before. I think it was because I searched up too soon. You're in room 12. I'm guessing your neck is gonna be turning doing 360s. I don't know. So why do you guys always want to walk towards me? Yep, your neck is doing 360s. Or 180s. I don't know. This place is creepy, but we do have guests here. We have Victor and Evelyn. They walk. <laughs> they walk so funny. All right, Scarlet. Let me bring you to your room. Your room number number twelve, wherever that is. I know this is my own place, but I don't even know if I own it. Maybe I'm just an employee. I think I'm actually an employee. This is your room, Scarlet. If you have any requests or concerns, feel free to call the front desk. Don't do it. Got it. Let's hope I don't need to. Damn, you got an attitude. She got an attitude. And your hands are really sharp. And you're doing 360s. Scarlet has an attitude. Evelyn seems okay if she wasn't smiling so creepily. Victor? I don't know. I don't get good vibes from Victor. So, am I playing murder mystery? I'd better water the plants until the new customers arrive. Okay. I'm gonna turn around. And somebody, somebody's gonna be all up in my face. I, just, I feel it. I feel it happening. You hear that? Like something's unlocking. Is there more plants to be watered? Okay, so this is, this looks like a thing I need to come back to later on. Which I don't want to come back to. But I feel like typical horror things that happen is... The light goes out, and then you're like, Oh, go check the fuse box. We got two more customers. Oh, there's more plants in the actual 
building. Alright. I'm, I'm, I'm looking behind me. I wish I had a eyes behind my back. Or I guess they might just pop out of nowhere. It's gotta be all the plants, right? I'm hiding a body in there. Like, I'm also suspicious. Even though I am controlling this character right now. It seems very suspicious. How many plants do I have? Alright. Y'all hear that? Yo, Victor's doing something. Or is that screaming? I feel like that's a bed squeaking, but also well, maybe it's Scarlet. Scarlet, what are you up to in there? You know we are other customers, right? Wait, Evelyn, is that you? You doing all that? I hear it, but I'm very confused what I'm meant to be doing. Is there even a swing here? Oh shit, okay. Oh, okay, I was so... Hey, what are you doing here? It's, in, it's the middle of the night. Aren't you a little too old to be playing on the swing? Is that Victor? Old? Who's counting the years anymore? Time stops here, in this place. What do you mean? Shouldn't you be in your room or home? Home? I've been waiting here, watching. You've noticed it too, haven't you? Notice what? You're not making any sense. You'll see, soon enough. We all do, eventually. What are you talking about? What would I see? They always come when the lights go out. Okay, now I just know that my, my thing is gonna... Is that, is that Victor? Why did the first thought that come to my mind was freaking Obama? I don't know why. I I don't know why. I thought it, I thought I thought it was Victor doing some God knows what he's doing. But the lights are gonna go off. I know what's gonna happen now, so at least I know where their fuse box is. Hi, I'm Lydia. Can you take me to my room, please? Why do you seem Of course Lydia. I'll take you there right now. Follow me. Thank you, I just... I need to settle... Quickly. Why do you need to settle quickly? It's funny things that are happening. Oh, of course, the freaking capitals. You're in room 10. We only got one more to go. Is, uh, is the last one queso or something? You guys always do that. I know you do this on purpose, right? Oh my god, dude. Alright, Lydia. Why does your shadow say you have hair, but you don't have hair? You're tricking me. Or maybe you do, but I can't... Oh no, you do have hair. <laughs> Holy crap. I couldn't see it, because, you know... Your neck was following me, following me a bit. I don't deserve you, I ain't gonna lie, but uh, I'm just here, to, I'm just here to do my job. You know, even though I saw some guy on the swings, I was pretty shady, but... I am just gonna stay here... And do my job. Like I should be doing. Here you go. Lydia. Um, you wanna come in or what? Here's your room, Lydia. If you need anything or have any problem, just call us. Who's us? I'm the only one there. Thank you, I I will. Why are you hesitating, Lydia? And can you get out of my face and okay. I guess I was in your face. God, okay. Something's bound to happen. It's been building up for a while now. I I feel it. Something's bound to happen. I mean, we're all our last customers. We've watered the plants. We saw the strange guy at swings. And now all is all that's gonna happen is my power's gonna go out, the knife the knife's gonna go missing. I'm gonna probably get killed. And that's that's what I'm thinking right now. That's why that's um yeah. Oh, we got another customer. Last customer of the day. Am I free to go? What room is this? 11. Okay. Evening. My name's Damien. I think I have a room reserved near room 11. Your room is 11. That's only the room we have. Yes, Damien. Follow me. I'll show you to your room. Perfect. Let's hope for a perfect night. All right, that is already super suspicious. I So far, obviously, the guy on the swing was suspicious, but I feel like... 
But like, who's suspicious? I feel like Evelyn's kind of suspicious. I don't know. All right, Damien, follow me, I guess. We go in places. Just me and you, last customer. Might get killed here, or unless you're gonna kill me. That's also an option. Or you get jumped, and I run away, or I get jumped, you run away, or... We both get jumped. I don't know. Just playing the game. Alright, what's gonna happen? This is your room, Damien. Feel free to call the front desk if you need anything. Oh, I will. If necessary. Thanks. I don't like when they have dot dot dot. It feels so ominous. I'm going. Someone's already calling the front desk. It better not be Damien because I just closed the door. What could possibly be happening in that short two second span? Unless it's, unless it's Evelyn. I don't even remember the names. I know Victor, Evelyn, and that's it. Lindia, Lindia, what, what's her name again? I don't know. Good, good evening. This is Hotel Kitchen. Hotel Kitchen. Time for the dinner service. How many meals should we prepare for your guests tonight? Good evening, we'll need five meals. Got it, five meals? We'll have them ready and send them to the lobby in about 15 minutes. Perfect, thanks. You're welcome. If there's anything else, feel free to give us a call. Wait, so it's not that late then because they're sending me dinner and that should only be about what? I don't know, 10, 8 p.m.? Why, why is there a flash? What, what's happening now? Alright, you know what? I am gonna complain. I like McDonald's. Okay. Hey, here's the meals you ordered. Five in total. Thanks. You seem in a hurry. Yeah, the faster I finish, the quicker I can end my shift and get out of here. This place gives me the creeps at night. Yeah? It gives you the creeps at night? I get it, same here. Anyway, thanks again. No problem, take care. God damn. All right. Okay, well it's floor food now, I guess. Bye bye. Whatever your name is, McDonald's, is it? I don't know. So I'm guessing, um, one... Oh, shit. You know what? That actually didn't even scare me that much. It was just a noise that was really loud. Oh, you scared me. Oh, sorry. I was just about to knock. I guess I was a little too eager for my dinner. No harm done. Here's your meal. Thanks. I'm sorry about that. You really caught me off guard. It's alright. If you need anything else, just let me know. Will do. Have a good night. She just closed the door on me before I finish my sentence. She is so rude. Evelyn is so rude. You know why? Actually, I guess some old people are nice. Alright. This one? This one? I don't even know. Is, is anyone four? Five? Okay, Victor is at the end here. Alright, Victor, what are you doing? Okay. Good evening, Victor. Here's your dinner. Ah, uh, finally. I'm starving. Thanks. No problem. If you need anything else, just give us a call. Voodoo, enjoy the rest of your night. You see how Victor waited until I finished my sentence before he shut the door on my face? Unlike somebody, Evelyn, or whatever your name is. Okay, two more to go, and we're probably gonna be done. I hopefully. I mean, I just said I hopefully. I mean, hopefully. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Is this Damien? Literary service. Here's your food, I guess. Thank you. I was just about to ask when it would arrive. Yep, your five-star, five-course... No, five-star meal. 
you know, mission star McDonald's right here. Here you go. Let you know. Let us know if you need anything else. Sure thing. Enjoy your evening. I will. I will. Evelyn kind of ruined it for me, but I will. She kind of shut the door on my face, and I will be remembering that. So the last guy, well, the last person I need to give my give the meal is I think Damien. Oh wait, five in total. Hold up, are we missing one? I think we're missing one. I don't remember. I think there's more than what? Hold up, there should be one more, right? Damien, Lydia, right? Is that her name? Yeah. I think we're missing one. What, what about me? I've been doing all the work. I ain't got no McDonald's. It's your dinner. You look very happy. Appreciate it. Took you long enough. Okay, damn. Attitude. Sorry for the wait. Anything else you need? Not for now. But, I, but I'll let you know. Alright, you let me know, man. You let me know because we ain't got we don't have meal for you. Uh yeah, we definitely need one more. I swear there's one more. Why did I say five? Are you scamming me? Like good money for this, I think. Probably. Am I gonna fry one up myself? You don't look very happy. You you're missing one of the meals. Wait, is this a bug? Did I give five away? Okay, let me see. Damien, Scarlet, Victor, Evelyn. Yeah, there should be five. Hold up. What? Alright. We are back. I finally did it. Took me, honestly, not too long. But this time, I made sure not to drop my McDonald's meal. God knows where. I've done it in the same order as well. So now we just have to do Damien and then Lydia. Alright, last one. Here's your meal. Are you doing anything shady? I hope not. But you never know. Have I already... Is it right here? Oh, it is. Alright, Lydia. Are you the murderer? Are you gonna be the one that's kidding me? Oh, thank you so much. This place is so quiet. It's eerie. Yeah, it's definitely peaceful. If you need anything, feel free to call. Thanks, I will. Have a good night. Okay. That is that completed. Actually working now. Now, is Ronald gonna be the guy that... Ends it all? Maybe? Alright, I've delivered all the meals. Great, how did it go? Any issues? Not really, but one of the guests said they thought someone knocked on their door earlier. It wasn't me. Hmm. Could have been another guest. These places can play tricks on your mind at night. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, thanks for the quick delivery service. I'll be glad when my shift is over. I hear ya. I've got one more round of deliver deliveries, and I'm out of here too. Hanging there. Will do. Have a good night. You know what, Ronald? You, despite this whole outfit, you are actually the nicer people here. You too. Stay safe. Safe. Uh, stay safe out here. All right, bye, Ronald. You're a little creepy, but you know what? You were better than any of any of these people that checked in. Now. Okay, I can't even come in here anymore, but I guess I just wait here. I don't know customers, nothing's happening. I'm guessing. Yep, what did I say? You see how I predict predict these things? Like typical typical horror game de behavior. I've played it enough now that I can somewhat kinda kinda tell what's gonna happen. Now my question is, is the knife gonna do some funky, funky business? <laughs> of course it's queso. Mr. Davis, what are you doing here? I didn't expect to see you. You actually scared me for a second. Did he eat my freaking fuse box? Oh, sorry about that. I didn't mean to. I'm staying in room 3 tonight. 
just checking in on things after the power went out. You came here fast, alright. Right. I forgot you were staying here. Everything's fine now. I just need to reset the breakers. Good, good. I was worried something more serious happened. The power can be tricky sometimes. Yeah, it's all sorted now. Well, since you're here, the reception desk looks a little messy, don't you think? Could you tidy it up a bit before the guest starts noticing? God, okay. Sure, I'll take care of it right now. Thanks, I'll head back to my room then. Let me know if anything goes wrong. Alright. <laughs> okay. Why are you sitting in this position? What, what is going on with your hands? I'm not going to question it. You do your thing. Just don't eat my fuse box, please. Um, I'm going to clean up my desk. What is this? This little web. Like, I didn't notice this before. It was actually very... Very dusty in here. And there's a mysterious black stain. Apparently. I guess I'll drop this in the trash. What's not working? How is the reception desk messy? What's so messy about it? I mean, yes, there's a little bit of weird black liquid. Okay, weird black liquid on the ground, right? Strange creature right here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we're just gonna clean this up. No one's gonna know. No one's gotta know. Okay, webs. Gone. Mystery black liquid stain still there. But it's probably fine. Oh, it's gone. What the hell? Okay, well, that's gone. Am I good now? Do I go back out and talk to the guy? Okay, I'm getting a call. Who is it? Who's gonna be? Hello, is this a receptionist? I'm scarred in room 12. Listen, something strange just happened. While the power was out, somebody, someone tried to open my door. I thought it was you, but I didn't see anyone when I checked. That's unsettling. I'm sorry to hear that. I'll come up. I'll come up right away and take a look. Okay, thank you. But please hurry. I feel really unsafe. Uneasy. Oh my god. Can I catch a break? Hello? Who is this? Is this some kind of joke? If you're messing with me, stop now. Say something. Who are you? If you don't stop, I'm calling the police. This isn't funny anymore. I would call the police straight away. Like, why am I waiting to call the police? I'm calling the police, like, immediately. No second delay. Instantly freaking calling the police. Alright. I'm not waiting to hear somebody breathe into my ears. Okay. That is not something in my list of things I want. Scarlet, open the door. Is something wrong? I can't hear you. Alright, I'm going to force it open. If it's that easy to force it open... This... How could this be here? Maybe it'll come in handy, but I hope I won't have to use it. I took it anyway. If it's that easy to force myself into the door... Scarlet is gone, dude. There's no way she survived. Help. This has gone too far. I can't handle this anymore. I need to get to the reception and call the police right away. Okay, well, she's right behind that door, but I guess we're not helping her. Good luck, Scarlet. You know, like, you really, you should have went, ran out the door or something. I don't know. But, uh, I'm gonna go and, I don't know, call the police. I hope. Hope that's what I'm gonna do. Emergency services. What's going on? So 
Someone's in one of the rooms. A woman is screaming for help. I think she's in danger. Where are you right now? I'm... I'm at the reception of motel. Someone broke into her room. She's calling for help. Stay calm. We're sending officers now. Again with the freaking... I pressed it! I pressed it. That was Damien, right? That was freaking Damien, bro. The blue shirt, I know it was Damien. Damien... Damien took the knife. Damien... Oh, God, dude. I gotta start all over again. I pressed F. I swear I pressed F. Now I gotta talk to Ronald McDonald, even though he was nice. I'm gonna do this all again. I'm not even gonna use my mouse. I'm just gonna go through this way. I got it. Yep. Damien... Am I surprised? No. It's finally over. I managed to survive, but Scarlet is still missing. The police will handle the rest. I don't know what really happened tonight, but I know I'll never forget it. This place will always remind me of the fear, the danger, and how close I came to losing everything. Now I just want to leave this nightmare behind. You know what? I don't know if it's because my horror tolerance or, I don't know, jump scare tolerance got up, went up, whatever. But honestly, that game, that game wasn't that scary. I, there's nothing really scared me, you know, or like my heart wasn't being that fast. It was actually pretty steady. Like, okay, Ronald McDonald showed up, freaking Kazo showed up, Evelyn's jump scare, but none of that actually got me, you know, I feel like. I was actually alright. That was alright. But yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching Night's Reception. And I'll see you guys next time.